My name is uh, Joseph Bonacore. I've been in the restaurant business since I'm uh, a kid, 15 years old. Started in the kitchen, working as a dishwasher. I needed a job. I wanted a car. My father said, you know, you want a car? You go get a job. I applied at the Mariner's Haven, down with Pat and Jesus, now in Island Park. They called me on Mother's Day, and that was that. Monocore food business, you know, my Uncle Eddie, they had bakeries, my Uncle Victor, you know, they all worked together. My father was the only one to go to school, and he became a lawyer, but the other the other guys had the bakery. I remember the bread being in the back of, like, my father's Pujo and the sesame seeds everywhere, and the smell of bread, you know, so. I don't know if that's what attracted me to the business. I think what attracted me to the business was, to be honest, it was girls. It was a few bucks, you know, we worked every night. We had a good time. And evolved into, you know, where I am today. Well, I worked here when I was a kid. You know, I started here when I was probably like 17. Again, after Mariner's Haven, then I came here to work in the kitchen as a cook. And it was very popular back then with young families, families going out on dates, it was casual, it was inexpensive, and I just wanted to, it was closed for a long time, and I just wanted to bring it back to the neighborhood. People have been very receptive to it, and this has been a uh, good first year. It was closed as the loss of probably 12, 15 years, maybe. It's like a lot of nostalgia for a lot of people. A lot of people come in, they had their first date here, they had their children christening here, or Halloween parties were big here. A lot of the people came with me from my other restaurant, so a lot of people were working together for a while, which had helped in the opening. Even though it was still chaotic for the first couple weeks, it was a little easier than it would have been with guys who never worked together. Nico! Everybody is like a little family, you know? Everyone comes in, they work hard, you know. The girls have been with me for a long time, a lot of them, uh, a lot of the guys have been with me for a long time, years, you know, 20 years, 18 years, 10 years, you know, so uh, I've been very fortunate that way. The New York Times calls up and says, oh, we were there, we're gonna put the review out, review out three weeks. Three weeks count the days down until the review comes out. You know, it's nerve wracking. The Newsday called up since they were there. Pulse magazine was there. This guy was there. That guy was there. It's like, holy shit. You know, they worried about, you know, bad things, what they say, do things right, do things wrong. You know, so it was uh, a little hectic. Then we got the big push after all the reviews. And, uh, you know, it's just trying to be constantly evolving with what's going on in the environment, what's going on with the food, the prices. Insurance, taxes, government, labor laws, payroll, you know, it's, it's a big, it's not as easy as it looks. It's a 24 7, you know, not glamorous by any means. What the fuck? Or, go, go make those desserts. I have them right here. And ask her why she fucking forgot. Hey, you have to watch you forgot. Everybody thinks it's a glamorous thing. It's not glamorous at all. The restaurant business is for restaurant guys. Guys who are in the business since they were kids. It's not a guy for the deli business. It's not a pizza guy. It's restaurant guys. Restaurant guys are restaurant guys. We've been in it since we're kids, and that's what we've been in. And that's, it's not for doctors. It's not for lawyers. You know, all these investment guys. It's not glamorous. It's a very small markup.
casual place where people can come in, have a good time. You know, I mean, if a couple of girls came in, they could sit at the bar and not feel uncomfortable that they're going to be bothered or harassed. And families can come in and eat a decent meal. And there's a nice kids menu, and then you know, the older folks have a choice of eating, you know, grilled stuff and fish if they like. And, you know, it's a little bit of everybody, family oriented. You know, it's uh, a little bit of everything for everybody. Price conscious. You know, just want to give everybody a fair shake. So. Uh, what it's about in this economy, I think. My next place, if I open one, will be called the Fair Shake. That's awesome. Just to give it, you know, because that's what people want, a Fair Shake, that's it.